So we'll start off standing <clears throat> and we'll inhale, raising both hands up over your head. And then exhale, folding over the waist down into an easy forward fold. Just letting your head and your arms relax. And taking a deep breath, exhale, let your head hang heavy, let your arms hang heavy. Do a little swish side to side. And then bending at the knees, scooping your tailbone underneath, you're gonna curl all the way back up. Inhale, raising both hands up over your head. And then exhale, hands down by your sides. Well, we're gonna bring both hands back up. We're gonna drop your right hand down by your side and then slide your right hand down your leg as you reach your left arm over your body. Kind of roll your left shoulder blade over your right so your heart can look up towards the ceiling. Take in a deep breath, and then on the exhale, squeeze from the obliques to come back up to center, bringing both hands to the sky and switching sides. Sliding your left hand down your leg, reaching your right arm over your head, and then rolling your right shoulder blade back behind you so your heart can look up towards the ceiling. Take in a deep breath, and then on the exhale, squeeze in from the obliques to come back up. And then glitter fingers of Wednesday come raining all the way down, all the way, all the way up. Okay, so we're gonna start off with an alternating forward lunge, reaching for your opposite toe. So it's a big step forward, big reach, and then come up with your hand over your head. It doesn't have to be like super deep, like your back knee doesn't need to touch the ground, you don't need to touch your toe. But the, the object here is to get every single joint moving. So we're gonna do a set of 20 forward lunge, alternate toe touch. Think about keeping your hips level with the floor. And the goal here is just to get your blood moving and get the synovial fluid in your joints flowing and maybe a little bit of coordination happening. So know that first thing in the morning, coordination isn't always our strong suit, but we do the best that we can given what's available to us. <clears throat> Right, so we'll go for four more, two on each leg. Two, three, and four. Right. We're just going to flap your arms, open and close. As you bring your hands out to the sides, you're just stretching out your muscles across your chest, and your shoulders. You bring your arms across in front of you, stretching out the muscles in your back. So it's warming up your shoulder girdle as we prepare for our first set of push-ups. <clears throat> Linda, if you want to do push-ups against the wall, you can go for it. If you want to do them on the floor on your knees, you can go for that. Whichever variation works for you, but we're going to go for 10 push-ups total. So I'm going to do mine on, on my toes because I always like to impress people with my incredible athletic prowess. So, no matter which way you're doing, you're going for 10 push-ups. One down and big exhale as you push yourself up away from the wall. Once you finish set 10, we'll come all the way back up to standing. <clears throat> and we'll prepare for our next leg exercise, which is going to be a set of lateral lunges. So stepping out to the side as big as you can until you feel stretch on your inner thigh. Come back to center, and then stepping out on the other side. Your hands can do whatever you want. Some people like to do the executive, where you put your hands on your hips. Other people like to do the wrestler, where you put your hands out in front of you. Better. We're going to go for 20 lateral lunges total. That should be just about 20, wrap up your set. <clears throat> We're gonna do this uh, upper body movement. 
It doesn't really have a name, so I'm going to make one up. I'm going to call it the Olympic swimmer. <laughs> so we bring both hands out in front of you with your knuckles facing, and then bring your arms out and back behind you, like you're swimming. So we're basically doing a mid-air breaststroke. I'm going to do 10 of these. And this is one of those ones where you can kind of just bring your arms through the motion. But once you extend your fingertips out a little bit further, so your shoulders kind of round, and then squeeze from the muscles in between your back to come all the way back. It becomes an upper back exercise, which really helps with your posture, standing up a little bit straighter. We're going for around 10 total, but it might be closer to 15 after I do all my talking. 14. Second, roll out your shoulders. Do the salsa merengue, and we're going to go back down onto your knees for your next set of push up or against the wall or um, on your toes. But what we're going to do for this set of push ups <clears throat> is push up to shoulder tap. So you do your push up when you get to the top of the push up, tap your opposite shoulder, push up, tap your other shoulder. Going for 10 total, whichever variation works for you. And even if you start out on your toes and then transition to your knees, that's all good. You can start on your knees and transition to the wall. That's fine too. We're going for 10. Lots of breathing. Finish a set of 10. Pause, rest for a second. <clears throat> we'll get ready for our next leg exercise, which is going to be a curtsy lunge to a knee drive up to stability. So, this is for all the muscles in your hips. So, a curtsy lunge <clears throat> is where you step back behind you, you drop your back knee down, and then come up to balance. Come back and come up to balance. We're going to go for 10 of these total. Go with a tempo that feels good for you and look at something that doesn't move. That'll help you with the stability. <clears throat> and the action of trying to stay level with your hips to the floor is kind of a jam. So even if your back knee doesn't get down super low to the ground, that's fine. So long as you're coming up for that moment of balance. Once you finish set of 10, we'll switch sides. Pause for a second, shake out that leg. <clears throat> and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Crossing behind your midline, coming back up to stability. So 10 of these shoulder and see if you can feel the muscles in your hips, particularly like right here on the side of your bum. And that's the muscle that squeezes to come up when you're balancing at the top. And this muscle plays a crucial role in hip stabilization. Once you finish the set of 10, pause, rest for a hot second. We'll come down, we're gonna do our second to last set of push-ups. So for this next round of push-ups, again, if we're down on the wall, on your knees, or on your toes, we're gonna do a push-up, opening up into a side plank. So if you're doing these on your knees, it looks like this, where you do your push up, and then open up one arm out to the side. If you're doing them on your toes, the same thing, but just a little bit bigger movement. So we're gonna go for 10 of these total. Nine and ten. <clears throat> All 
I always like to take my time with those because they're so good for opening up that heart. I could all heart center. Okay, so we're going to bring both hands up behind your head. And we're going to do a standing oblique crunch. So you can either just go like that and your work's this side of your obliques. If you want to make it a little bit harder, bring the knee to your elbow on the alternating sides. You're going to go for 10 of these total, five on each side. This is definitely one of those ones where you don't really want to do these out in public. Because everyone's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Dancing out with your hands behind your head. But when you're at home alone in your room, it's a great time to do them. Okay, so we're going to come into a reverse lunge to a straight leg kick. So this is a dynamic stretch for your hamstring that also gets your heart rate up. So it's a double whammy of awesome. So we're going to reach your left arm out in front of you. Step your right foot back, and then try and kick your hand. Do that 10 times on each side. <clears throat> and even if the reverse lunge isn't that big, we still want to try and kick your hand. Like, uh, like Bruce Lee when he kicks out the light bulb. Super cool. Once you finish set of 10, pause. Get your breath for a second, then we'll switch sets. So don't do a balance ever feels like kind of an issue. Focus on something that doesn't move. So not me, but like something just above me. In yoga, they call it your drishti. In exercise class, they just call it that thing that doesn't move. So step back with your left leg, trying to kick your right hand. And get your legs open it up a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna do our last set of push ups for the day. And these are gonna be a set of diamond push ups. So, what this focuses on is triceps and shoulders. So, you don't really get to use your pecs as much, your big muscles, smaller muscles, which makes it a lot harder. If you're doing these on the wall, just keep your hands close together and lower your heart down to them. Push yourself away if you're doing them on your knees. Um, same deal. Just trying to bring your heart center down towards your hands, and push yourself up away from the floor. And think about going down slow, so you're in control, you know what's going on, and then push yourself away quickly, okay? So go at your own pace, at your own tempo. We're gonna go for 10 of these total. I want to finish up their sets of close grip push ups. And we'll do our last standing exercise of the morning, which are going to be a set of single leg squats. So, standing on one foot, again, keeping your hips level with the floor. If your right leg is bent, we're going to reach your right hand down towards your left knee and then squeeze from the bum to come back up to standing really tall. We're going to go for 10 of these total. Again, focus your gaze on something that doesn't move. That drishti kind of helps anchor you into the balance here. And once you finish set 10, pause, shake out that leg. Yeah. And then we'll get ready to do our next set. So again, hips are level with the floor. If you're standing on your right leg now, left leg is bent, left hand reaches down in front of your right knee. 
and squeeze from the bum to come back up to standing. 10 times total. Nine and ten. Great. Ooh. So don't those if you have a mat uh, or anything nice and soft to lie down on. Now's a good time of the workout to bust that out. <clears throat> and we'll get you laying down flat on your back. <clears throat> okay, so with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor, you can maybe cross your hands over your chest or hands behind your head. You're going to come up for a set of 25 crunches. So squeezing from your core, you bring your head and your shoulder blades up off the mat 25 times. And you just want to try and maintain a good space between your chin and your chest. So you're not pulling on your head, but your hands are just supporting. As your hands are across your chest, you're still maintaining that good space. Once you finish set 25, you can stop, rest for a second, <clears throat> straighten out your legs, put your hands over your head, take in a deep breath. <sighs> it's going to be a deep yawn. <sighs> you will bring your hands underneath your bum and you're going to prepare for a set of 20 leg lifts. So leg lifts, legs are together, raising them up <clears throat> and lowering them down just above the floor. If you feel tightness in your lower back, you can bend your knees and reduce the range of motion into a heel tap. But in general, we want to try and explore on how to keep your legs as straight as we can. Let's go for 20 of these. So counting out, going at a pace that feels good for you in a range of motion where nothing hurts. Once you finish set of 20, we're going to cross your right ankle over your left knee and bring your left hand behind your head. <clears throat> so we're going to do 10 crunches to rotation. So we're going to crunch up left knee towards, I mean, the left elbow towards the right knee and then come all the way back down. So we do that 10 times on each side. Crunching up with that good twist with a big exhale at the top. Again, your hand is just supporting your head, so you should be able to maintain that space between your chin and your chest. <clears throat> Once you finish a set of 10, switch legs, switch hands, we'll do 10 on the other side.
We'll come into our last exercise of the day, <clears throat> which is going to be an isometric contraction. So we're going to create a tabletop with your shins and press your hands into your thighs and your thighs into your hands. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds, starting in three, two, one, and pushing really strong. So really trying to bring your knees towards your hands so it presses your lower back flat into the floor and you have to use your deep core. Just kind of hold that. We'll hold 15 more seconds. Keep pushing, keep breathing deeply. Big exhales. Five, four, three, two, one. And the knees to come out. Let's work. <clears throat> we'll finish with a seated forward fold for your hamstrings and lower back. So just sitting on the ground, moving your Bum muscles out of the way, so you can find your sits bones firmly on the floor. Inhale, raising both hands up over your head, and then exhale to fold, either touching your toes or wherever your hands touch, and let your forehead drop down towards your knees. Taking a deep breath, long exhale. We'll hold for two more breaths. And then reaching your hands out in front of you, coming all the way back up. Exhale, hands of happiness back down to the ground. And that concludes this morning's workout. Yay!